I am here on the red carpet with Lupe Fiasco, getting ready to go in and play Battlefield 1. Tell me, what do you think your chances are today? Are you going to be able to lead your team to victory? No. <laughs> no, I'm not ready. Not mentally prepared at all? No, no mentally or physically. So, I mean, there's a lot of cool vehicles within the world of Battlefield 1. Is there any particular vehicle you're excited to jump in and pilot or drive? Um, I like the big tank. That was pretty cool. But I don't, I'm not good at driving. I'm not good at anything in this game. We're gonna, it's going to be a slaughter for me, just so you know. Well, that's why you drive around in the tank, because if you crash, but it's you fine. Get, but you become a bigger target when you're in the tank. That's true. But you also become a more unstoppable target when you're in a, not, a heavily armored machine. Not this face. Not that face? No. <laughs> that's why you got to hide it in the tank. Indeed. <laughs> Lupe, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Good luck, man. Yep. We've got more people all over the red carpet. Action-packed excitement. People are going in, getting their chance to play Battlefield 1. Makes me a little jealous because I'm not one of them, but they get to go and have a blast while I get to sit here and talk to awesome people, which isn't a problem, especially when it comes to getting a chance to play one of the most anticipated games of the year. And we have two more guests coming. The game is in the building. Tyrese in the building. You guys. Battlefield 1, right behind you. How excited are you to jump in and play the game? I'm ready to jump through the screen, you know? <laughs> I'm ready to jump through the screen and play the game. I'm, I'm a vet, and this is what I do. Um, you know, I was backstage uh, kind of getting through all of the different the energies around the game, and uh, I prefer the tank, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't really think too many folks out here going to touch me. I, I pick up on the games real fast, so... You know, this is my boy and all, but, you know, I'm trying to take the crown, so. Yeah, we, got, we got money on it. And see, I knew he was going to say that about the tank. You know, he want to ride around the tank and be, you know, use all our protection. I'm on the ground. I'm in the field. And you know what they call me? Grenade game. The grenade game. That uh, grenade is a good way to take out a tank. Now, in your movies, you're known for being around fast cars. Is the tank fast enough to be able to handle what you got? Uh, the tank is a little slow. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I can get rid of a whole... Uh, entourage with one missile so you know I, I prefer the tank I can run over 30 cars and still have you know still get to the other side so I'm in the battlefield we on still tough to stop a grenade game good luck you guys have fun playing again right this way gentlemen battlefield one awaits you good times everybody is excited to jump in play the game We've got more people coming on the red carpet. DeMarcus Cousins in the building. How you doing, man? Yeah, how about you? Doing real good. Now, tell me a little bit about how excited you are to jump in and play some stiff competition in Battlefield 1. I'm excited, man. Uh, the game was dope. I enjoyed playing it so far. So uh, I'm going to go test my skills and see if I can uh, beat some of these better players. Anybody in particular you're looking forward to beating? Uh, no, I'm just here to enjoy the vibes, man. That's all. That's what it's all about, having a good time, experiencing the game, playing with friends. DeMarcus, thank you very much. Thank Best you. of luck on the battlefield. Thank you. Finally, somebody as tall as me, so I don't have to keep looking down at everybody, having a good time. Zed, hey, how's welcome. You? How's it going? Good, how are you Come doing? on in, stand right here, please. Zed, Battlefield 1. Are you stoked to get this opportunity to jump in and play the game? I am. I really am. I, I love video games. I used to play way too much video games all day long. So this is a little bit of a way for me to get back and play a little bit more. So what are you most excited about in experiencing within the world of Battlefield 1? I'm excited to see the faces of the other guys when I win. <laughs> That's what I'm excited about. As they lay in the trenches? Hopefully. We'll see how that goes. It's going to be a tough competition. There's a lot of people out here that are hungry for victory. Do you think your team can take it? I think we can do it. To be honest with you, I think we're well prepared. We had a couple of minutes and we're ready for this. Practice, ready, ready for warfare. Thank you so much, Thank Zed. You much. Enjoy the game. All these people so excited to get their hands on some Battlefield. There's more people excited for Battlefield 1. Richard Sherman's in the building. How are you? How are you? Pleasure to meet you. So, Richard. Now, you're known for playing some stiff defense. Do you think you're going to come with a defensive approach when you're playing Battlefield 1, or are you going to try to get a little more offense in that? No, it's pure offensive. Everybody's terrible, so we're going we're gonna to all be terrible together. <laughs> so there's a, it sounds like you have some high hopes for the team, but a good defensive strategy could also pay off in the end if you play your cards right. It, it definitely could. Um, I think we got some pros with us, so we're just going to follow their lead and, and go for it. 
And that's what it's all about. Play with your team. Don't leave your team behind. Richard, thank you so much. Best of luck out there. Thank you. Some challenges. There's some challenges awaiting. These people don't even understand how excited some of these other people are. Like this man right here. Ah, what's up? What's I know, up? I, I, would, I, get uh, loud in I, I would flex, but I like this jacket. <laughs> what's um, up, Jose? How you doing? Doing good, Terry. So tell me a little bit about how pumped you are to experience Battlefield 1 with some of these competitors behind me and that are waiting in the wings. Well, this is crazy because uh, you see how pumped I am? I, I constantly stay pumped. But uh, looking at this game and how realistic it is, and it's just wild because you can actually put a shovel in your friend's head. <laughs> it blew me away. I was like, not only can you shoot them, you can shovel them. That's nuts. So is that going to be your approach, just straight shovels I to the face? I plan on shoveling a few people down here. I saw my boy Game, Snoop Dogg, uh, you see Richard Sherman, all the people I love and admire, and I plan on shooting them today. Now what's going to give you the power to take your team to victory? You know what the power, I learned it's a controller. Controller, it's all about the controller. You know, sometimes the people use the Xbox thing. I'm going keyboard mouse, keyboard yeah. mouse today, and I'm working it. I've got my technique down. I think I'm going to win. Straight PC strategy all the way. I'm going it. It's going to lead you to victory. Yes. All right, baby. Good to see you guys. Good seeing you as well. <laughs> all right, you all right. Thanks. Terry Crews trying to out-muscle me. He's lucky. I like this jacket a lot. This is a very expensive coat that I got many, many years ago. We've got more people awaiting in the wings to come out on this red carpet. It's more like a, it's like a marble wood. I don't know. Very colorful, flavorful floor. Ready for tap dancing. There you go. Oh, hello. Hi, Hi Emily. Nice to meet you, Jose. Thank you. What's up, Snoop? Emily, Snoop, Battlefield 1. This is a big time. Are you excited to get out there and jump in on the battlefield? Yeah, I'm actually terrified. I'm really bad at video games, so I have no idea what's going to happen. Probably, you know, die a million times, but it's all good. It's all good because it's a team game. Yeah. You could have solid Snoop's teammates. Back, Snoop, amazing. Snoop, big time gamer. How excited are you to be one of the first to get your hands on Battlefield 1? Teamwork make a dream work, so we're all about team today, so that's what I'm here to do, to support my team and do what I do. So do you think there's any big threats on the other team? Anybody got you nervous? No, nah, we got a special weapon that I ain't going to tell you about, but we got a couple of little things that we're going to rock and roll with. You always got to be prepared, have your special weapon up your pocket, up your sleeve, or if you don't have sleeves, in your back pocket. <laughs> Emily, good luck. Good luck out there. Nice Thanks to meet so you as much. well. Snoop, best of luck. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Right this way. That's how it's going down, people. Whether you're a gamer, whether you're just here to have fun, everybody has fun when Battlefield 1 is involved. The people out here in the background, excited for Battlefield 1? Anybody? That's what I like to hear. These people, they want to get in on the game, but they're not walking the carpet or the floor. Hardwood floor, also a good thing. Wiz Khalifa, welcome. How you doing, man? I'm chilling, man. How are you? I'm doing real good. Doing real good. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now we're talking about Battlefield 1. There's some heavy competition in there. Now, I know you and Snoop, friends in real life. Are you guys going to stick together on the battlefield? Yeah, yeah, of course, man. That's my homie, man. He's going to look out for me. I'm going to look out for him. Now, he said he has a secret weapon. Did he, did he keep you informed of what the secret weapon might be? Or are you not telling either? You can tell me. It's only me. There's no one else here. Yeah, it's, it's the bomb. That's the only thing I can let you know. The bomb is guaranteed to kill people. That's not nice. So you guys just going to take the competition two matches in a row? Pretty much, man. Snoop's pretty competitive. I know how to do what I know how to do, so we're going to come through. Well, I look forward to seeing you on the other end of the battlefield. Hopefully victorious. Yes, sir. Best of luck. Yes, sir. Enjoy your day. <laughs> Whisk Leva, Uncle Snoop, planning on teamwork, making the dream work. Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Efron. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little cloudy. In the building. It's the lights. Yeah. It's the lights. Uh, yeah. So, Jamie, Zach, tell me a little bit about what you guys plan on taking into the battlefield with Battlefield 1. I plan on taking uh, courage and hemp. Hemp. <laughs> hemp. I don't know. Um, swagger and courage. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Swag, courage. Now, a lot of these guys have been talking a lot of trash, saying, you know, they're, they're gamers, they're big time into it, they're ready to just take on whatever challenges. Are you guys planning on, you know, delivering some serious fight for your individual teams? Oh, that's what it's all about. You know, so it's competitive. I mean, we, we have a competitive nature, so, you know, we're going to have fun, but at the same time, you know, we're out there to win. We're not out here just to be having people take, take our pictures and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to win for sure. So who's going to win? Team Neebs? Or Stone Mountain 64? Huh? 
Huh? I don't know what team I'm on yet. Oh. You're on Team Stone Mountain. Team Neebs. I'm Team Neebs. Team Neebs? But you team can, like, Neebs. what if you rooted for each other? You know then it would be, like, a I conjunct. wish you the best of luck, I sir. wish you the best of luck as well, <laughs> brother. All right, we're going to go find Wiz Khalifa make this day go yeah. a little smooth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you guys, thank you very much. It's a pleasure talking with you. Thank you. Enjoy thank your you. time playing the game. All right, see ya. Thank you. That's how it's done. Now it's time to head to the battlefield. All right. Thank you so much, Jose Sanchez. One and only Finger Kung guns. Fu Bar. That guy's special. You yeah, know? he really is, isn't he's he? A, he's a special guy. He's a real special guy. Anyway, uh, welcome, everyone. My name is Golden Boy, joined by the one and only Wesley Hears. We're going to get ready to call the action. It is going to be Battlefield Squads, Team Stone Mountain 64 versus Team Neebs. It's exciting times. I just want to say Team Neebs has been shredding it with the trash talk videos. Oh, yeah, of course they have. Stone Mountain's got to step his game up. Hopefully he could do so on the battlefield. Dun, 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 dun. Do you see what I did right there? Uh, I saw what you did. That's right. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm a genius. Uh, of course, everyone in the uh, chat right now is typing in cringe. And you know what? <laughs> I can't help what I am. Uh, but, guys, this is going to be a good one. And uh, we're really excited here. We're going to get this one cooking in just a little bit. So we, we saw a lot about what Battlefield 1 is going to be bringing during the press conference, uh, you know, what, what's in store for us. But now we're actually going to get to see gameplay, you know, true-to-form gameplay. Yeah. And we're going to be checking out perspectives of some pretty – Awesome players as well. I believe we're going to be looking at like rival X Factors perspective. We got level cap, level Jack cap flags. Yeah, Everybody Jack flags. Uh, we also have, uh, of course, I think our two captains are set, uh, yep. Neebs and uh, Stone Mountain. So maybe Stone Mountain can <laughs> rally the troops, <laughs> get everyone the fall in line. So it's going to be awesome. What about for you, Wesley? I know that you have had opportunities to see this game, uh, you know, quite a bit in the past. Yep. Uh, Battlefield One. From your perspective, what is it about this game that excites you? Well. Um, I think, first of all, like, you know, people expect something from Battlefield, and Battlefield 1 delivers that. It's all out epic scale, 64 players, uh, but it's a little bit more gritty than maybe what you were expecting from mm -hmm. your next Battlefield title, uh, much more so than Battlefield 4. That close quarters action with the melee mechanics, uh, you know, that's something that I really noticed in playing the game, and uh, I think you guys are going to see today. Uh, just how important that mechanic will be uh, when you're playing with all your friends online. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. We're going to see some craziness. Uh, we were going through some of the re like the tech rehearsals earlier today, and uh, the games, you know, they were getting hot and heavy. You know? Oh, yeah. It made me a little verklempt, you You've know, got a little sweaty. All I'm sweaty naturally. <laughs> so imagine when the games are playing. All these stars in here, it's like a, it's like a sharp pit. All the best players playing Battlefield together. It's going to be awesome. You know, it's going to be uh, hard to win the game today. But uh, I'm personally rooting for Team Snoop Dogg. I'm calling it Team <laughs> Snoop Dogg. That's it. I'm sticking with it. Uh, so we're going to get ready to jump into the game here any minute now as uh, people are prepping the lobby. And uh, we're going to show you guys just... So many incredible new features to the game that, while, of course, trailers are awesome, gameplay is king. And because of that, we're going to show you guys the new, you know, dynamic weather system. Oh. You're going to see some of the weapons at play, the vehicles at play, the new classes at play. It's exciting times, and uh, there you go. See the guys gearing up now. Is that guy, what, is he wearing glasses indoors? Like, Lord, can someone go to him, please, and let him know that, that <laughs> like, that's not cool? You know, I, don't well, know. I think you were listing some of the stuff there. Destruction as well. Yeah. Big thing in Battlefield 1. You're going to see like uh, a big step forward from uh, what you've played oh, yeah. in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. It's really like, um, it's like going back to Bad Company 2, really. You know, it's that all-out destruction that you can expect. And oh, you can see here we go. Here we go. Let's take a look at the scoreboard here. Actually, let's take a look at the rosters if we can uh, for just a brief moment uh, because I want you guys to know where all the teams are sitting on. Of course, we have the German Empire facing off against the United Kingdom. Uh, so we'll take a look at the scoreboard in a little bit. But in the meantime, though, let's talk about this gameplay. And, and here also, by the way, is the spectator mode, uh, what you guys are used to if you had played Battlefield 4, if you played Battlefield Hardline. Um, and, of course, our great guys in the back getting all the awesome camera shots. Yeah, they're making sure that we're seeing the best of the action today. And that's a really important part for everyone out there watching is that you get to see some proper gameplay now. Like you were saying, we've seen the trailers, but it's now time to see something, you know, fully fledged in the flesh, Battlefield 1. And here we go, folks. So we have some uh, tank gameplay here. And uh, X-Factor working with his teammates. This is the Mark IV tank, I believe. He's blowing up the map, making sure he knows what's going on. There we go. Smash through the wall. 
It's yeah. not like it's not like it's even there. Yeah, no, the tank is the tank is absolutely brutal. Um, so now X Factor is going to be inside of the tank, working we with uh, uh, Mitz here to clear this spot, and now moving over to I believe this is going to be Stone Mountain's POV. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, he's got uh, one of the uh, the classic weapons out there, using the sniper rifle. One of my uh, one of my favorite weapons to use on the battlefield. Okay, so now. Uh, just to kind of give everyone an update as to what it is that we're going to be playing. It will be Conquest, what you know, what you love from Battlefield. Uh, six points up for grabs for those of you who may be new to the franchise. Look at that tank. Look at it. It's just that incredible. Look. That is one of the, the, uh, the heavy tanks that you're going to be seeing in play as well. Good shot, so trying to lay down oh. with that pistol. Is he going to take him? Grenade going out. You can see the bolt action shots too, and also some of the variants that you, you're going to see a unique. Oh, Ooh. get some right in front, but that's going to be an assist. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Something that you're going to see today is all the different uh, weapons that are going to be available, and uh, well, there are quite a lot of them we're going to get through today, and loads of different perspectives. So you'll get an all-round feel for Battlefield One in the Conquest game mode. Yeah, this is looking insane right this, now. <laughs> this cinematic shot. Look at all the players running around. It's fantastic. Good stuff indeed, so continue to move forward, trying to go for that cheeky no scope, not going to find that one, uh, but progress continuing on forward, blue team currently, if I'm reading that screen correctly, has uh, two points, working on A and E as well. They're leading 26 to 19 as well, which means uh, they've got the upper hand so far. German Empire versus the United Kingdom. Look, oh, oh, look airplane at that. battle. Now, when I did the Battlefield 4 showdown, one of my favorite things to capture were the airplane battles, right? And here we are yet again with the biplanes. It's something that I don't think... Oh, 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 oh got nearly. Up there. That would have been bad, man. That would have been bad. That, that, would, that would not have been good. And you can see, actually, that... Oh, no, 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 don't go to oh. the ground. Okay, okay, well, he's... He's out of there. He's taking a quick pit stop, that's all. Yeah, you know, just, just <laughs> look at the scenery, though. Emergency you, landing. Everything going on around you. There's, tank, there's uh, tanks on the ground, all the airplanes up in the sky. Now we have uh, 24 to 36. And Monastery currently being capped here. Let's Using see one what X-Factor uh, can do. Working with uh, Major Nelson as well, and uh, Rich Sherman as well as uh, one cheesy... Mopo, great name. Using the SMG. Oh, wait. Pulling up one of the mounted weapons. Yeah, the, the, the mounted weapons here, of course, if you're, you know, holding off on this flank here, you have to be very mindful, too, because tanks can come in and just shred that wall. Yeah. Oh, right? Cool. If you think you're going to be able to maintain position there for a long time, as soon as they get wind that you're holding that spot, they can send a tank there and just absolutely destroy. And a couple things to note about the tank classes as well. It is an actual class yep. that you select, and then you go into the game Since with again, the tank class, which has its own gun, its own tools, yep. all these different items. Uh, you can pick up a tank from the battlefield as you would in other battlefields but now with the tank class system it is a it is a class designated to vehicle drivers. Correct. So uh, if you want to spawn in and make sure you are that tank driver, when you pop out of it, if you ever have to leave it for any reason, you will have your own loadout, which is uh, something a little bit different that we haven't seen before. Keep in mind, too, the red team has the lead here, and they have managed to get out of this one. Look at Jamie Fox. <laughs> he's, he's really getting into it, isn't he? Yeah, he's going it. <laughs> he's, he's singing to the camera. He's, I, I, honestly, I, I'm sweating right now. This, that was it's just, the emotion. It's I mean, the emotion. Look at it. You saw his <laughs> eyes. You saw the, the, the love in his eyes. You know, the love and the pain. Oh, man, goodness. Uh, so <laughs> we got a lot of action going on, though, inside of the monastery here. Look and at it. It's already fully destroyed. Yeah. It, it was fantastic, the, it, uh, the scenery that's, uh, that's on offer. Oh, taken out. Nice taken stuff. out. Nice stuff. Uh, so Stellatrix is going to get that kill, uh, or that drop there. Let's see what we have as uh, we potentially switch perspectives. And you saw right there, as a matter of fact, too, that was the way a, that you uh, the way that you spawn in. Yeah, I, I was hoping that we could have actually caught that view for a brief moment because it is so cool how you spawn into the game. So in previous Battlefield titles, you had a 2D map that just showed you where everything was going on in the Battlefield, right? Yep, correct. This time around, though, that map that was once 2D, that is the actual game itself. Like the, the match that is taking place, all the players when you can see the explosions happening throughout yep. the battlefield it's all there and then when you spawn in oh. you actually swoop into it good stop there and uh, again trying to see who he's going to be Doom, 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 Doom 49. 49 yeah so it's will be Doom 49 oh, can he take him 
Oh, he got the assist, he got the assist. I mean, you were going back, let's go back to the spawn screen. It, it gives you a feeling like where you're zooming in, you're a lot more aware of what's yep. going on around you because you can see the explosion, you can see that player moving. If an enemy's spotted up, then it gives you the chance to maybe switch where you might want to spawn so you don't die as soon as you, uh, as soon as you jump in. Yeah, it, it's, it's a, actually, it's a really just cool looking moment too when you just swoop into that site, but here we go, over to uh, Matt's perspective here, as he's just gonna... Going in with the SMG, nice close quarters weapon. That's right, Good Using it to full there. effect. Multiple variants as well for that one, uh, that players are gonna have the option to use here in this particular build. And I think that was an anti-tank grenade that he just picked up there. And check out Snoop Dogg, he's, he's waiting to see if anyone's gonna charge up on this trench here, trying to work with his teammates. Well, you can see the concentration. Look at all these players. They're all just looking out, going, right, well, I've got to really concentrate here. I've got to make sure that I'm in. Look, you can see Stone Mountain there just behind. He's making sure that, yep, see, he's telling his players what to do. Getting the troops to fall in line, <laughs> man. Getting the troops. And here we go. So this is the spawn system. You just swoop right into it, and you go right into the vehicle, like, or wherever you decide to go. Was, it is so cool. That was just awesome to see. I mean, that kind of mechanic. I mean, the spawn screen is one of the most valuable things you can look at, because you can really help change the way the battle's moving. And if you can see all that information, in front of you is so much more helpful and there are a variety of uh, you know items that you could use as well gadgets that you, you'll see players use I think we saw the uh, anti-vehicle grenade just a little while ago back over to the uh, spawn again and, and moving uh, in with Major Nelson here yep Major Nelson Let's see what he can do lean the troops actually nice. I believe this is rival X I think this is X Factor, oh, you think it's X -Factor? Uh, no offense to Larry love Larry to death <laughs> good friend of mine I just haven't seen Larry move like this in, in quite a while, so I, I don't know if that's Major Nelson. But in here comes. comes the airship, Westy. This is the special bit. So what you've got is an extremely powerful piece of weaponry right here. Um, is it the, uh, the British Army have got this one right now? Yeah, so because of that, the way it works essentially is that it, it, you want to look at it as when the team is down, it's that last-ditch opportunity, that yeah. last effort to be able to get back into the game. And the airship, if used properly, can cause a lot of damage. It is a, yeah. an incredible, incredible piece of, we of weaponry, a behemoth, if yeah. you will. I mean, obviously, though, it's a huge target. As we can see, it's getting shot already. So it's, uh, it's not something that you're likely to miss in the sky, but all that power right there. If you were down and you needed to take a couple of flags back in Conquest, this could give you the power to do that. You can absolutely obliterate people with the guns that are on it. Infantry don't stand a chance, so it really is the last ditch, but you could turn things oh, around. The plane just <laughs> landed right in front of us, and it, oh, good shot there, and uh, look at Terry Crews throwing down on the PC. That's what's up, man. You know, just, just looking for that opportunity. I think he found someone in front of him, and just, oh, now he's just yelling. Yeah, well, I mean, again, it's the emotion, <laughs> raw emotion on board with Snoop Dogg. He's in one of the tanks, I think, or is it the armored car? I think it might be the tank. Yeah, I think that is the tank there. And yep. uh, over here, Stone Mountain's Ooh. POV dealing with a lot of Ooh. pressure, and c Nanners coming out of nowhere, giving them the business. That's unfortunate. One thing we did see there was one of the uh, the new movement mechanics, the way that you can pull yourself yes. up on top. You might have just seen it before the guy uh, before the guy hit the floor. Uh, you can now pull yourself up for, onto cover that's a lot higher than you, so you can uh, use the cover to your advantage, or you can drop down behind it, but then you can spring out in surprise as well. So there are different kinds of movement uh, mechanics in the game that are new. As you had mentioned before, the high vault, as it's called. Yep. You know, in other Battlefield games, there may have been like a gate or like you know s stone fencing or something like that that you couldn't quite get over now you can it's just all one fluid motion look at the tank just running through everyone here i don't even know who's in that tank but he is looking to cause some damage yeah, yeah. And, and here's a couple of interesting notes about the tank too so you can actually target damage tanks this time around right Correct. so if i want to eliminate the treads i can eliminate the treads i can do the best i can to whoa okay that was interesting <laughs> but yeah, like you say, guys. the damage is individual to certain parts, but it's not just these tanks that we've got here. There are different types of tanks in Battlefield 1. So you've got light tanks, medium tanks, and heavy tanks. Obviously, the name will tell you a little bit about what they do, but a light tank can only hold one player, so you could be very effective on your own. But if you want to sit down with some of your squad mates, you can move into a medium tank. That's got three seats in it. And if you really want to take your full squad in a, in a tank and you want to go bowling around the battlefield and just uh, causing absolute havoc, then you can use one of the heavy tanks. That's got five seats in it. 
Yeah, and, and another thing to note as well about, you know, just the, the tanks in general, they are tied to those specific classes, right? Uh, they contain a variety of weapons uh, depending on the situation, but most importantly though, they contain a repair hammer, right? Which you can use to actually give yourself that, you know, yep. to keep you alive and keep the, keep the tank going. Uh, also another thing to note too, and I do want to talk about this, you can actually self-repair your tank. Yes, you can. You, so you can stay in the tank, but th there's a trade-off, right? Like all things, there's a trade-off. You actually cannot get out of, uh, of the tank. You can't move, you can't fire, you can't do anything. You're kind of a sitting duck. So while you can't repair, you can't do a lot of things. And, and oh. by the way, he just... He's parachuting out. Oh, this is it. This is, this is what we've been waiting for. Just raining. Rain and destruction on his opponent here. Finds one in front of him. He's just gonna land on this building. Here we go. Is oh he gonna make boy. it? Nice. Good yeah, stuff there. Yeah, takes him down, takes him down. No, but that's one thing about the airship. If you do spawn in, you happen to be in one of the in the weapons, you want to get back into the action. Maybe you want to get a little bit closer to the enemy. You think you can do some damage. Well, you can just jump out, parachute down, and get straight back into the battle. And another thing, you see that bayonet there, right? The bayonet, if you're sprinting and then you hit a specific button, you can actually go a little bit faster. Not only is it a good escape mechanic, potentially, if you're in a bit of a sticky situation, but if you just charge right into someone, you're going to take them out. And here we go, folks. The airship has been destroyed, and it is going to drop another incredible factoid about this airship, guys. It doesn't matter where it... Like, there's no, like pre-programmed like this is where this is gonna fall no it falls anywhere all those buildings down there are watch gonna be this. destroyed just watch this oh it's my incredible. goodness this is crazy no why would you go there <laughs> <laughs> that is and insane not just that but once it's hit the ground its carcass stays there as well so you have to battle it out moving through all of this like metal that's just crashed into the ground it's uh, it's a ruin at that point. Obviously, we saw incredible. a little bit of first person, a little bit of third person there. But the first time I saw that when I got to play this game, everybody just stood still and watched it. It was absolutely incredible to watch. Awesome stuff. And there you can see the remnants of what was there past the airship. <laughs> it looks fantastic, doesn't it? <laughs> it, it, it? And it also just creates a whole new, you know, gameplay element too, yeah. right? Because now you got to bob and weave through this metal. Yeah, I mean, like you could have like taken cover behind some of those buildings. That's not gonna, that's not gonna be the case anymore. Plus, let's say that it does land on all those buildings. You've got that close quarters environment. Well, now you get to see players that are a little bit further away, so it changes up the game a little bit. That's a scout. Here we go, X Factor Gaming. Nice view of the town here, actually. This is a, this is a nice shot. So you can see all of these buildings here, I believe. Uh, can be destroyed. And there's Captain Sparkles in the tank there, getting a little reckless, finds one in front of him there. That's going to be a good pick up, looking for a second kill. Well, he's going to get the second pick. Good job indeed from X Factor Gaming. He, every time we've gone on a perspective with him, he has been a beast just I, doing doing the dirty work, man. I expect nothing less from uh, from X Factor. If you've ever played with him or you've ever had the opportunity to see him play, he is just uh, an extremely good battlefield player. Oh, but just as we say that. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's the curse fault. of the commentator, isn't it? <laughs> it's, your, it's your fault. And there you have yeah. it, folks. Congratulations. That it was awesome. I, uh, if I'm correct, I believe that was the German Empire who yeah, came out on top of that victory. Well, because obviously the uh, the British got the uh, got the airship, but uh, perhaps they couldn't quite use it to full effect. So the German Empire. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, why don't you subscribe?